I appreciate it. Thank you. Well, Jimmy Myers, I got you by 10 years. Isn't that amazing? 10 years, 50 years in June. And uh, again, I started when we were nothing. We didn't have a company. Art, uh, we were all at Waddell and Reed. <laughs> you probably know the story about Art and how he left uh, uh, ITT Financial Services and built a great company because he wanted another level on the computer so his people could override. You know, Art was at ITT Financial Services. He had never heard of Waddell and Reed. And he got a phone call from a guy named John Kostmeyer, who was the head of Waddell and Reed, but used to be with ITT and heard of Art. And Art decided to go check Waddell and Reed out. He had never been on an airplane. He went up and saw. I asked him, we were coming down from Unicoi after our first company meeting. And I said, why did you leave ITT? He said, because they had another level on the computer. And my people can now start overriding and they won't quit. There's a lot of lessons in this. Six months later, ITT went under. If he had not done that, if he had not taken that step so his people could override other people, we wouldn't be here today. None of us would be here today. Jimmy would still be at some printing a newspaper <laughs> company. I would still be at a failing steel company like my former uh, job was. And we have to look at what Art left us. He left us a legacy of what? Opportunity in our system. I, I don't feel enamored about working with Primerica. I, I don't adulate Primerica. I look at Primerica different than most people. Primerica is just the way I get paid. Primerica is where I get my policies issued. Primerica is where I handle my administration. Primerica keeps me legal. That's how I look at Primerica. But see, I look at Primerica as 6,000 individual companies inside one company. Like in America today, you know, they're worried about the economy, right? The economy is this. Folks, you just got to start worrying about your economy. It's not worry about, let, let, let's worry about Primerica, right? Don't worry about your company, not the Primerica company. Like they always said, if, you're, if you have to get back to the fundamentals, where have you been? As you heard me say, Andy and his team have broken the code of small thinking that we've had for 25 years and gotten back to the original design system that Art Williams created and bequeathed to us before he left, called the multiples, the power of the multiples system. And I'm telling you, folks, if we don't get back to what I'm about to show you, Art Williams' system will become extinct in the next 10, 15 years. No one talks about art. Why? We don't need to talk about art. We're talking about financial advisors. We're talking about managed accounts. We're talking about wholesale, right? We used to talk all about growing and creating, creating RVPs, creating our own company within a company within a company, which you cannot do anywhere in America. No one's talking like that. And you've got to start saying, well, who, you know, of all the people in Primerica, Bill, who should I listen to? You know, there's a lot of voices, right? There's only one voice to listen to, Art Williams. And now, you know what, you've probably heard, seen this book, The Locker Room Notes, where I took... <coughs> Uh, 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 20 years of notes, I mean, about 15 years of notes. Every time Art spoke, I put out a special notebook. And when he spoke, I wrote it down, kind of like, kind of like uh, 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 one of the, uh, uh, Matt Matthew was taking notes when Jesus was speaking. That's how they remembered all that. He didn't want to forget what Jesus said. And then I published it several years ago. And I'm going to make a point of that. He did not leave us with, good luck, you can do it. He left us with a legacy of how to do it. That Citigroup paid him a billion dollars to get. The biggest shock in Primerica is not that, 
that, that uh, how great a company we are, the biggest shock is to Art Williams how nobody has copied us and how few people in Primerica are copying his system. We take it for granted. We don't study it. We don't want to learn from it. You ask Andy, that thing I preached about Andy Onstead, he, in his humble humility, he said, I'm just following our system. Are you? So we got to get back to the fundamentals, how this thing was originally designed. And so, there you go. Three by three by three by three. In 19, 2011, Art Williams said, got up in front of 53,000 people. How many people were there? Raise your hand if you were there. 2011 National Convention. Wow. And he told us how to do it. He said, here's how we did it. Most people are not doing it. And it was three who get three, 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 who get three. Folks, I've interviewed, you probably heard me say, Art Williams, 30 times at the RVP meeting. And every time I interview him, he stops me and reiterates, Bill, can you believe if you get three and teach them to get three and to get three and to get three, you have 59,000 people. That's how Andy Onstead got it going. That's how Art Weaves went from 85 people, and I was one of them, in 2000, I mean, in 1977 to 1979 in 12 years, 250,000 codes. Talk about how do you get codes? Very simple. We could have had a lot of people, and someone's going to get coded. <laughs> Art was very controversial. My next book will be out. I'm writing my, a third book, and it's going to be coming out next uh, fall sometime. It's going to be called, I Wish You Were There. I'm co-writing it with Art. About what it was like back then, and how everybody hated us. And this is the thing they hated the most and they laughed about. They call us every name in the book. But Art Williams ended up building a financially independent company with financially independent people. You know, Art Williams, the city, the company last year, its profits after taxes were $375 million. You want to know what Art Williams would have been making if he were still in charge? $375 million. That's the kind of system that he created. Again, massive passive income. I have to go with this pretty quick. Woo. Once you have, uh, you only have to create a hierarchy once, but if you create it once, that's enough. You only have to do it one time if you do it right the first time. Aren't you tired of starting over and over again? And how many times have you come to these meetings and say, Dear God, let me hear it this time, right? And here is my definite major purpose statement. Out of every 10 days, I say this out loud in the shower with meaning. Because I need to know why I need to build a big hierarchy. And it's all based on bringing people freedom of time, money, and control of their lives. And have a 35,000 foot abundant life. What does that mean? If you're in an airplane, <laughs> you want that plane flying at 35,000 feet above all the stuff. Most people are flying at 10,000 feet and they're getting bumped and bruised and wind shears and, and lightning strikes and financially and wonder why, what's wrong with their life? They got to get above that. Using our powerful system of 1% off a hundred. I'm going to show you tomorrow about how the problem in Primerica, I mean in America is not a job, but the fact that they've committed and believed 100% income off of one will get them there and it doesn't work. We are bringing to them the new story of 1% coming off a hundred or more people. A pipeline income versus a toting the bucket income that you know about. So that they're making an RVP, what? Overriding, overriders of overriders of overriders of overriders through six generations. Art Williams, when he started this thing, they had one level on the computer. Now that we've got 16. The thing that Andy Hunt said didn't tell you, oh yeah, he made a million dollars in the last year, but he also got about $100,000 of free stock. Free stock. Willie had over a million dollars of free stock last year. 
Millions of dollars of free stock to what? Builders. None of that go, very little go that, only 400,000 of that <coughs> goes to securities people. Over $750 million of free stock so you will build and create reps, I mean, code numbers and district leaders, right? And then, so what? Through which flows financial products? The financial products flow through the distribution system so that widows and orphans get a check and letting people do something special with their life. Folks, I, I, I love that. I cannot wait to get in the shower to say that. And while I'm in there, I figure I might as well take a shower. <laughs> you know, when I finished this book, I sent it to Art. And it was just looked just like this. He said, Bill, this is great, but there's one page you don't have in there you have to have. And, I mean, uh, there's one chapter. It's a chapter because it's the talk I gave in June of 1977 at our first official A.L. Williams meeting, because it was in my home that we even coined the name A.L. Williams on, June, on February 14th of 1977. And so it was four months later we finally got us all together, and this is the talk he gave. Isn't that amazing? And if you go to page, so the first chapter is his talk, not me taking notes of his talk. And page seven, right in the middle, is, the, is a formula, the Coca-Cola formula, to build a gigantic hierarchy that Citigroup paid him a billion dollars to get. They paid him a billion dollars for this. This is the one Andy Onstead's working. This is the one that Noel McQueen is working. And Abby Schaffner's working. And we, Jimmy, worked. This is how what we worked before we became fancy and too pretty around uh, 1995. And for the last 25 or 30 years, we've been wandering in the proverbial desert trying to get back that magic. Well, Noah and, 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 Noah and Abby, they showed us the magic is back. What does it say? You grow by what? Not addition. I'll talk to you about that in a second. Here's a formula. I can tell you're enthused. <laughs> you see, you'd rather have me talking about variable annuities and, back, and, 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 and manage accounts and how to make a million dollars a year selling that crap, right? Right? See the point, folks? Do you understand your ticket to freedom is on the screen? Your ticket to being a million dollar earner for the next 100 years is on that screen. Thank you for the golf clap. I think, I think, uh... shit, man. I mean it. I mean it. This, this is pathetic. You're more excited about getting out of here to have a beer than you are about the formula that'll change your life. This is, this is your financial cure for cancer. Financial cure for the next 100 years, your family's going to get a paycheck because of this thing right here. And I know some of you are not going to do this because the 100% off one is so locked in your head. But Art Williams gave us this gift, this treasure, that this incredible, uh, amazing thing that applied, it works for 100% of the people. What does he say? Recruit three people. And what, get them licensed, get them coded? Nope. The, no. <laughs> He said what? Get them three people. And do what with those three people? And get them with those three people. The company will even pay you to do it called field training bonus. And when you get to district, guess what happens? The company gives you free stock. So they incent you to do the right things. Got that? I said a swear word. In a church, isn't that something? He does. He forgives me, right? Now, here's the, here's the fun part. Field training. Boy, you're screwing this up. You say, I got a field train. What's field training? You know, teach them the business, teach them the products, teach them the services. No, 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 no. I'll teach you what that is in a second. It's your version of what Art said field training is. I'll show you page nine in a second what field training is. And he said it. He told us. And then do what? Drive it for 
deep. How many, well, how many people in this room, every time you recruit somebody, your mindset is, I got to take them four deep? Doesn't happen. Yet it says it right here in writing. Nobody takes people four deep. Why? Because they want to get a recruit and train them so they can go out and make sales. No, Art said you got to get them three and get those three, three, and those nine, three, and those 27, three, and those 81, three. So he has what? 100 people, right? Drive it to have 81 people using the three by three by three by three. Isn't that something? Do you understand what we got a hold of here? This is what made Jimmy and me and all of uh, Assad million dollar earners and, and worth tens of millions of dollars. This is our formula. There's page nine right there. Page nine. Field training. What? I take you to a friend to get what? A recruit. And he, that friend takes me to his best friend to get a recruit, to take him to his best friend to get a recruit. Got the point? If you're field training them, thinking, I got to show them how to give a presentation, how to handle objections. No, you got to show them how to recruit somebody. And you do it over and over and over again. This is how we went to that from nothing in one city, in one state, to 12 years later, 13 years later, 225,000 licensed agents. And guess what our Williams says in A. O. Williams way? Exactly that. No, we are not a sales company, yet you're trying to teach people sales, aren't you? Nobody wants to sell anything to anybody, especially life insurance, yet you're insisting they've got to know how to sell this stuff. And there are some people that will. 90% of all people don't, I'm sorry, 95% of all people don't want to sell anything, and only 8% of the 5% want to be in financial services sales. Because it's what? An intangible. They'd rather sell a car or clothes or something that's tangible. But look at that. We, we desire freedom of time and money, the ability to make overrides, provides that freedom and overrides only come from building a team. A team is what? People. Because you're in the team building business, that's why you're not in the sales business. Sales come as a result of a lot of people joining. Again, multiplication and geometric progression, this is A. Williams' way, are like a long, long train. It starts out too slow to notice until it's moving too fast to stop. That's why no. Noah's wife said, I'm afraid this thing is going to blow up. No way in heck it's blowing up. It can't, right? I mean, no, no, it can't happen. Why? Because it keeps moving. It's like a snowball going downhill at the top of a hill, right? It keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And you're building it on people. You're not asking them to invest any money. Power of three. Watch that video, Power of Three. But this is a video. Look at it. This is 2017 Art Williams sent a fax. He sent faxes out in those days. <laughs> he's, here's what he's thinking about seven years ago at age 75, after having been gone from the company for 27 years. He can't get over it. Look at that. If you hire three, who's three, who's three, you got 81 people. I did not ask him to do that. This is what he told us because he can't get it out of his head because this is how he built it. Again, Art Williams, I must have seen this a zillion times. If you get three people a year for 10 years, that's 30 people. But if you get three, who get three, who get three, who get three, who get three, that's 59,000 people. The problem is we are ashamed to be in the three who three, get three, who get three, who get three business because it's different. Makes your skin crawl, doesn't it? People, it's, it's what the cringe factor. Bill, you don't have to talk about that, do you? I know a guy right now who's been with the company for 37 years and never showed anybody a three, he'll get three, he'll get three, he'll get three. And he said to me, because I'm apologetically embarrassed to do it. Huh. All of us have to go through this because it's different. But don't you want different? This is how you get 100% uh, out of 100% off one. That's the problem in life. You got to get it to 1% off a hundred. The one who just sits on what God has given him does not multiply is the disappointment to God. Thomas Anderson said that. He wrote a book called 
becoming a millionaire God's way. I read it, I don't know how many, 10 times. Why? I want to do what God wants me to do. God wants me to multiply. He does not want me to have three people a year for 10 years that are well-trained. I mean, I'm going to train these suckers. They're all going to get coded. <clears throat> Maybe you will. But at the end, you'll just have 30 people, of which 27 people quit. Again, the only decision that people have to make is not whether or not they want to be in Primerica. When you sit down with somebody, say, the only decision you have to make is not whether or not you want to be in Primerica. <clears throat> it's whether or not you want 100% off one life. Or would you rather have 1% off 100 life? Would you rather have 100% of your income coming from you? Or 100% of your income coming for 100 other people? That's the only decision you have to make. And that's the introduction you're giving to people. That gives you the 35,000 foot life. You can't do it. Folks, the world is telling you with $36 trillion in federal debt. <laughs> you young people, you are screwed. <laughs> the government is screwing you so bad. Why? All this debt, right? And who are you handing it over to? You, because all those suckers in Washington are going to be dead. But they're handing it over to you, saying, you pay for it. We had a good time. That's why they call it a party. Democrat Party, Republican Party, it's a party. How can we get money to people that vote for us? How about how we get all those college kids to vote for us? Let's pay off their student loans. Where are we going to get it from? The future. If you, if you vote for people who pay off people's student loans, you're crazy. <laughs> why, should you have to, why should you have to pay off their loans? Because he thinks that he needs it to get votes, right? I don't care who the next president is. I don't care what your, what your favorite president. He can't change $36 trillion in student in debt. Can't change it. Nothing can happen to make it better. You're screwed if you don't have a 1% off a 100 life, not be in Primerica. If you don't have money coming in while you sleep, you're going to have to work until the, for the rest of your life. 100% off one, you're not making money while you sleep. 1% off 100, you're making money while you sleep. Ours is the perpetual what? Money-making machine, right? Jimmy and I don't have to work. Assad doesn't have to work. None of us have to work. The money's coming in. 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and money's coming in, right? You can't have that 100% off one. Why would you spend 40 years to have it 100% off one when you can put, what, three, four, five years in here to have an income for the next 100 years. I know you don't want anybody's thumb on you, right? Have you made your mind up you don't want anybody's thumb on your children? Have you made up your mind you don't want anybody's thumb on your children's children? See, folks, you, you don't want to be anybody's thumb on you, but to build a hierarchy, you want to have an income for the next 100 years. We know we had some construction in, our new, in the house we're living in, in our lake house. <laughs> the guy said, you got to pick this builder because he built houses that will last 100 years. Is what you've been doing for the last four or five years going to last 100 years? Or <laughs> last this year or this month? Again, widows don't want to inherit <laughs> clients. They don't want anything to do about it. If you have securities license and you have ownership, you know what you really own? 75% of your 12B1 fees. That's all your widow is going to get for five years. Then it goes down to 50% of your 12B1s. There's no more. Isn't that something? But I make $300,000 a year selling securities. Yeah, but you only get about $90,000 in 12B1s. Your wife's going to go from getting $25,000 a month to about $6,000 a month. The day you die. Why? Because you're not around. And they don't want to handle clients. You must learn to multiply yourself so you can be more than one place at a time. Again, that's a 1% off 100 thinking. Compounding is the ninth one of the world if you use it. See, we all hear compounding. We think of compounding rule of 72. But we never use it for the compounding of people. Art said two things blew his butt out of the water. The rule of 72 and the power of the multiples. 
Most of you have got the power of the rule of 72 down, but you've never mastered the power of three. That's the ticket out for people. Rockefeller, Carnegie, Morgan, and the rest of the industrialists have been the unconscious agents in the necessary work of systematizing and organizing productive industry. The future will be the multipliers who will organize in the, in, in the machinery of distribution. We're not a, a, what financial services, we're what? A distribution company. Whatever goes through this, right, <coughs> will sell, including Vivint, Auto and Home, PNC, I mean, a, a prepaid legal. Who else knows what we're going to be coming up with down the road? But we're going to pay you on it. See, but you got to understand, you're, in, you're not in financial services. Walk away from financial services, get into mass distribution of anything. Our game plan to build an RVP factory, or to be an RVP, because Art says what? Why do you want to be an RVP? Well, I get a bigger contract, I can get bonuses. No, you can create RVPs only after you're an RVP. RVP company is the company within a company. That's what he built this for, so that we can all have ownership in our own. Ownership is, uh, Noah, you own your own company. It belongs to you. You can make as much money as you want to. You got a 50 to $100 million line of credit at Primerica. And when you promote an RVP, they give them a hundred and fifty to fifty to hundred million dollar line of credit. And when they promote an RVP, so Noah, I mean, uh, Andy's got about a two hundred million dollar line of credit right now. They can never what call the loan. They charge you no interest. You don't have to make payments, right? They can't sell that loan off. They can't ever call the loan, and you don't have to have any collateral, and you don't even have to have a good uh, um, credit report. Ain't that something? Only down payment, $125. Be your own boss. Promote seven to ten RVPs. And guess what he also left us? The greatest, the, 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 the prime jewel of compensation of Primerica called replacement. Thank you. I, 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 I pity the young. They're so screwed they can't even listen. <laughs> you understand what I just said? How are you going to get seven or ten RVPs? You get two. You only have to get two in your life. One you give up as replacement and, and an RVP, not six made up districts and seven codes. <laughs> Is that what you gave up, Jimmy? <laughs> seven codes? To go RVP, and then what? You promote an RVP, take replacements. That's how you get the seven. You teach your people to do the same thing, and your those people do the same thing. And now you're making three hundred twenty thousand dollars a month, not including securities, and not including bonuses. Because when this came out, we didn't have either one of those. If you recruit three and help them recruit three, you will build an army. You should not build a team. You should build an army. <laughs> By the way, I. I just want to let you know that he, he's a genius and he finally figured it out. These guys know what they're doing. They must believe they only need three. Do you believe they only need three? Watch the video, The Power of Three, and how Art Williams built this company on three people, T. Faircloth, Bobby Buisson, and Randall Walker. Ain't that something? You only need three if you want. Do the right things with those three Again, if, if I've seen this once, I've seen it a thousand times from Mark. He gets giggly. He's, he's like a kid with a new toy. He says, watch this, watch this, watch this. If you get two people and you get help them get two and those people too, and, right? He does that as if we don't know it. But, he says, but watch this, Bill. Three, nine, 27, you go from what? 256 to 6,500. But if he gets four, remember him doing this, Jimmy? I mean, he gets, he gets giggly. 65,000. Then he said, oh, look at this. If you get five, 350,000. If you take five people, help them get five, we'll get five, we'll get five. Isn't that amazing? I'm saying, this is a gift. And this is, this is uh, Wydell, hierarchy, RVPs, 
all his first, second, and third generation. This was uh, 1982. <laughs> Five years after we started coming, that was Larry Wydell's hierarchy. Larry Wydell makes down close to three million a year, has not had a base shop since 1984. Has not had a base shop. RVP fact, you watch that video. You can solve every problem in life by recruiting someone and taking them four deep. Do you ever hear the story about, you know, your redneck if? You know, your girl, girlfriend's head, hair gets caught in a ceiling fan. You know, your, your redneck if you're cutting your grass and you find a car. <laughs> in Primerica, you know, you're, red, you're in Primerica too long. When you go for a family photo for a family reunion, you need to go. <laughs> I'm trying to get people to go. Here are some of the people. Jimmy, I want you to think about how deep you are from the original Bob Safford. Recruiters, right? Recruiters, not RVPs, recruiters. What? I think I know your number. I'll ask you in a second. <clears throat> four deep. What if we took everybody four deep? It's a magical number. That, it's amazing. Here's who we found at four deep. Assad. Art Martinez, million-dollar earner. Mike Sharp. Andy Young. Richie Falcone. Randy Godfrey was three deep. Gupreet Singh was five deep. Mario Arizon was four deep. Tony Massoud underneath him. Dennis Vian. Miguel Illich was four deep. And the last two RVPs he promoted were four deep. Gary Cornegay, three deep. Bobby Gokul, six deep. Whitney Cooper, in your hierarchy, seven deep. Sam Shepard, four deep. Shane Rubin, four deep. Jimmy Myers, I got you down for seven deep, Jimmy. Maybe I'm wrong. But what if we'd stopped at one or two? And we didn't take, get a recruit for the recruit, you wouldn't have found Jimmy. Warren Powers, you ever hear him? Six deep. Jim Penn, four deep. Keith Otto, five deep. James Watkins, my first generation, seven deep. Andy Onstead, nine deep. King David, four deep. You didn't get that one, did you? A little slow. Here's our Williams again. What? You go deep until you find one recruit. Which means what? They're not all going to be what you're looking for. You keep going deep until you find a, the recruit you're looking for. If you go four deep, you should find one great recruit. Imagine, Noah, if everybody in our company took, the purpose is I had a recruit you to take you four deep. The way I do it is, I say, if I don't get you four deep in a week, I'll buy you a steak dinner. Because why, that gets me to do it. Instead of, now, you go get licensed this weekend. I gotta get you people. One recruit, Great recruit equals solidifies the leg. Here's my math. Uh, first, I did a meeting. Uh, Art had a meeting. Had about 1,000 RVPs in the room. And he said, <coughs> if your direct recruit, the person who recruited you, is still in the business, stand up. I counted nine of us. I was a direct to Virginia. Eight other people. Other than that, everybody else came from depth. Two, three, four, five, six, seven generations deep. All the greats came from more than one deep. Right? There's one, just one, wasn't one deep. I figured out about a 10% chance of finding the stud at, at uh, one, 30%, 6%, 80% at four. You go five deep, you're going to find a stud 100% of the time that you're looking for. Did you ever see this book? This was written by Hubert Humphrey and co-written by Francis Averitt. I said, Francis, this can't be right. He said, no, it's not. Hubert put that in there because he didn't want everybody competing with him. So he's telling people, let's go wide, 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 wide. He, she said, no, this is the way you're supposed to look, supposed to look at it. Oh, nuts. I don't have it with me. Turn that book sideways. It should be going deep. Six wide and ten deep. Got the point? 
Again, Art Williams, seven who gets seven who gets seven. The first step is total commitment to what? Art's system. What you want for yourself, you want for others. Bill, what do you do with a brand new person? What's best for them? What's best for them? Getting a license, going to PFSU this weekend, or you getting them three people? What's best for those three people? Getting them three people. What's best for those nine? Getting them three. You see, do what's best for them, and it always works out, and they will thank you. Here's an example. You know, investment, if you invest $10,000, it becomes $2.4 million. Even if you don't touch it, right, in, in Rule 72. Here is Ronnie Barnes invested 50 people. Directs. He invested 60, 50 direct people. He's got over 20,000 people at this time in the hierarchy. Probably up to 30,000 now. And but paid at this time about four years ago, 90 million. Mike Tuttle only recruited 25 directs. But he did the right things with those 25. And then Bobby Buisa on 100 million. Bobby Buisa could not recruit his way out of a paper bag. <laughs> Either could Larry Wydell. You can tell him I said so. You know why? Either can you, but you, we don't want you to. We want you to plug the people in and let the system work. Here's an example. People don't want a mutual fund. They want the compounding inside. How do I get 12%? You got to get a mutual fund. Well, I'll take one. Do I want one? I don't care what it is. If I can get 12%. Primerica. <laughs> I'm here today because of compounding people. I don't have to work for the rest of my life. What, uh, uh, how do you blow people's butts out of the water? Rule of 72 and then instruct them about the power and amazement of the uh, power compounding. You know about Rule of 72 here? But look, how about the penny, penny compounding every day? We see this, we go, huh, huh, huh? You know how many people quit at the end of 10, 10 days, 15 days? They keep recruiting and recruiting, but they don't find the stud. So now they say, well, I got to train them all. Because there's some people in this room saying, if you're recruiting all these people, how do you get them trained? All that means is your trained people are better trained when they quit than my people who are not trained when they quit. <laughs> but your people are going to quit. Why? I don't know why. But they're going to quit. No one stays here for 20 years selling the product. Nobody. Either they go RVP or they're gone. And if they don't have an RVP underneath them, the chances of going are pretty good. Again, this is Art Williams. If you don't build it for yourself, you know what people want, and you build it for them. What do people want? They want to override. You want one person can make so many sales with our company sales management concept, we offer people a chance to make unlimited income and a secure income, and that only comes with RVPs, not people. RVPs. You got to get them to RVP, what, take replacement, and your job is to recruit and build until you get a solid leader so that they're on the verge of RVP. You're very, very much committed and connected with them. Why? Multiply RVP overrides. If you had three RVPs, all doing 10,000 a month, who have nine, who, uh, and who have 27, look how much money you're making. You're making 13.5 on people you don't even know. You hear what Andy said? I just met him for the first time in Hawaii. And same thing with Noah. Yet they're ninth generations. You know this, Jimmy. You're going to go to the convention. People are going to bump into you. Jimmy, my name is Joe. I'm one of your RVPs. Oh, really? Welcome. What, what level? I'm a third generation. Oh, wonderful. Welcome to the team. That's what you want. Look at this. If you have seven who have seven, I rounded it off. 53, 50, who have seven, who have seven, who have 70, down to about the uh, <coughs> sixth generation, you're doing $1.2 billion a month in premium. Imagine what that'll pay you, right? Again, earning $72 million a year. You'd like to make 20, 72 million a year? It's coming. Yeah, you said, well, Willie Naranjo is not doing any securities yet. <laughs> Just wait. What do you see your securities in come about 10, 12 years from now? <laughs> It'll be about the four to five million a year. Got the point? It's all coming. Here's how you make. You had 40 directs, 
who have four, who have four, who have four, who have four. Look at you're making six million dollars a month. Six million a month on all that. Isn't that incredible? Again, massive passive income. The point of it is, oh, not bad, just about on time. <laughs> the only decision you're going to have to make, you have to make at some point in time, is you want to have 100% of your income coming off of you or 1% coming off 100 or more people. Well, I'm in Primerica, Bill. It's still 100% off one. Until you get RVPs, folks, it's, you're the Lone Ranger. Art Williams, you have to understand. We left Wild Allen Reed because we couldn't promote our people RVP. Now you can promote as many RVPs as you want. There's no limits. There's no territories. There's no compensation restrictions. Again, you got a 50 to $100 million line of credit that you never, ever, ever have to be held accountable for, right? Because why well, you can recruit as many people as you want and they get to pay. Here's the point. Are you a multiplier or you are a duplicator? Most people say, oh, I got to duplicate myself. No, you don't want to duplicate yourself. <laughs> you want to multiply yourself. A duplicator, he can do me. He's my clone. You can't find those people. And if they do, they're leaving you to get a higher contract with LPL. If you don't know what that is, you will. When your people leave to go to LPL, to get a higher contract selling securities there. Multipliers teach other people how to multiply. Field training is training on the power of the multiples. You know what, we change our vocabulary in, in my business from recruit to rescue. Because when you recruit people, you're getting them into something. When you rescue people, you're getting them out of something. And, and you heard this story Maybe I told it to you. I told it so many times about the guy that's in New Orleans probably and a flood is coming and, and he's sitting on his porch and they send a boat and he gets to his roof and they send a motorboat, right? You've heard all that story before and he gets to the roof and they send him a helicopter and he dies, right? And God, where were you? I sent you a boat and helicopter, right? We have to get to the understanding we are the helicopter in somebody's life. If I went around a room right now and said, how many people in this room got another phone call from somebody in Primerica other than the original one, Very, if any would raise their hand. I got one phone call. Jimmy, how many did you get? One. How many did you get, Asad? One, which means this is it. When we talk to them, it's over if they don't join. And if they do join and they start multiplying, it's over if they choose not to be around. We're the helicopter. There is no 100% off one is a hellhole. 72% of all Americans want out of their jobs. 72% of all Americans, I have to take CBD gummies on Sunday night just to get through the, the, the angst of having to go to work the next day. 78% of all Americans are disengaged. They just show up to get a paycheck. Is that God's plan? I saw Resi talked about Jeremiah 29, 11. How many of you got Christians in this room? Do you believe? Yeah, I believe in God. Are you living God's plan or your plan? It's multiplication, God's plan, or are you working your own plan? Because he wants you to have hundreds of RVPs. Why more people get served? The blessings are better. The point is, God did not have a plan for you to struggle, to have a low life of misery, to hate your job, to go through uh, 70 years of working and not have anything to show for it. That's not my understanding of the word abundance. But we go through it, why? Because... We've been brainwashed. This is what I do. This is what my people do. Get a good job and work your ass off for all these years and have nothing to show for it. That's insanity. What's insanity? Doing the same thing over again, expecting a different result? It's an insane asylum out there. Because why? That's all they know to do. We've got a new message for them. When you sit down in front of somebody, you've got to understand. Look him in the eye and say, I can't be honest, as more honest with you as I am right now. You gotta to listen to me. I mean, I wanna to talk to you like I would my best friend. I've got a way out for you. And the way out is not Primerica. It's the, it's the what? Multiplication system. It's like nobody, the, 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 
Mutual funds aren't the cornerstone for financial success. It's the compounding inside the mutual fund that gets them there. Or we just call it a mutual fund. Primerica is their ticket out. For some reason, you've been blessed enough to get here. The question is, what are you going to do with it? Are you going to sit on it? Or are you going to multiply it by blessing other people with what? The system of three who get three. How can a guy who's 82 years old this month, after being gone for 34 years from the company, still get excited about three who get three who get three who get three for us? And he bequeathed it to us. Now the question is, what are you going to do with this incredible, incredible system that he gave to us, and what are we going to do with it? Are we going to squander it or do something with it? We'll see you tomorrow. Thank you.